do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter excretion and osmoregulation in that we are studying topic ureotelism now when i say ureotelism it is the mechanism in which excretory product is removed in mammals let's study a little bit more about it today ureotelism now the name says it all in this process the nitrogenous waste that's removed out of the body is in the form of urea yes it is in the form of urea so the name was denoted ureotelism now ureotelism is very common in organisms like mammals or man for that matter even in turtle so this organisms are termed as ureotelic organisms this animals basically can never afford to lose excess amount of water just to dissolve and remove ammonia if their excretory product was ammonotelic they can't waste that amount of water they need that water for other cellulosic activities in the body or other metabolic activities in your body is dependent upon that that's the reason their metabolic waste is urea and not ammonia ureotelism now if i talk about ureotelism it could be simply said as a process in which nitrogenous waste are eliminated from the animal body in the form of urea now ureotelism is basically found in mammals man or turtle such animals are said to be ureotelic organism now this is a reason why this ureotelic organisms remove the waste product urea basically this animals are seen in terrestrial regions and being in terrestrial or sometimes in semi terrestrial regions this animals are living in habitats where there could be shortage of water or there could be water available only for limited amount
Now these animals which are ureteric cannot afford to lose a large amount of water just to remove that waste product and to dissolve and eliminate this ammonia. Now ammonia requires a lot of water to be dissolved and removed out of body and these animals who are ureotelic cannot afford that since they live in habitat which have shortage of water. Hence urea which is less toxic and requires less amount of water is produced by the liver by the process of deamination. Now when I say deamination it is nothing but breaking down of your proteins or your amino acids for that matter formed by ornithine cycle in this terrestrial animal especially in aves or birds. Now urea if partly soluble in water most of the time urea is partly soluble in water molecules and it is secreted in urine in this terrestrial animals birds or aves. Now 50 ml of water would be needed to dissolve 1 gram of urea in this aves. So students today in this part of the chapter we did study about ureotelic organisms how do they function and how shortage of water has led them to produce an excretory product termed as urea since ammonia is not something which they can afford to produce which will cost them heavily on water side since ammonia needs a lot of water to be dissolved and thrown out of the body so students i hope we are very clear with this concept thank you